Hey everybody, recognize this? That's my little greenhouse where I did my first video in um, December 2010. Still standing, same plastic on there, believe it or not, still going strong. Uh, but I'm sure you've heard that old country saying, uh, when life gives you nematodes, turn them into pumpkins. You ain't never heard that before? Well, you have now, and guess what? That's what I'm trying to do. I've grown a ton of tomatoes in this greenhouse over the years. I mean, just probably thousands and thousands of pounds, probably literally tons. And this year was going to be no different. Got the plants in the ground. We had some Romas, beefsteaks, and Rutgers in there. Um, got my drip line, everything hooked up. Plants started to come on, on up. They looked good with the cages around them. And everything was going real well. And then I noticed a couple of beefsteak right in the middle started wilting. And just it was obviously they were dying they were gone so i just pulled them out next thing you know some of the romas on the outside road they were doing the same thing just wilting and uh going away from this world so i decided i just instead of pulling them up let me dig these suckers up and take a better look at these roots because it's one thing i know how to do is, is how to grow a mater and i didn't suddenly just forget how overnight so i dug the things up and lo and behold, I got root knot nematodes in there. To my knowledge, I've never dealt with these things before. If I did, I didn't recognize the symptoms of it. And the one thing they really like is some warm, moist soil, which is every time I watered these plants, uh, I was providing a much better home for them. So I shut the water off, knowing the uh, outside row where the Rutgers were, everything was just going to die off and clean that stuff out. Now, here's the predicament. I got a greenhouse sitting there with nematodes in the ground that I can't use. I bought some stuff called Azagard that is like a, a souped up uh, neem oil derivative kind of thing to do a soil drench in there and basically saturate the soil to get rid of the nematodes, but that's, that's a process that takes time. So what do you do? Well, I got these little square baskets from the Habitat Restore I believe these actually over in Norfolk, Virginia, a few years back. Got them for a dollar a piece. They showed Kmart $2.99 on them. We got them for a dollar, knowing, thinking one day I'd use them in a hydroponic setup. And has some, uh, some Atlantic deal from a guy out in Hawaii has sent me, and they got some um, Big Moon and uh, I think Big Max. And I decided I'd grow some pumpkins. And I put a little soil mixture in there, the um, sterile kind of stuff. And lo and behold, I got nice looking pumpkins in these containers. And I'm thinking, do I want to do a Dutch bucket kind of thing? Or what's easier than set it and forget it? So it got me three totes, 17 gallon totes. Uh, dug the holes out to get them sunk down in the ground a little bit uh, to make it easier for the plants to just fall over. And plus to get a little bit cooler down in there as opposed to being up where it's so hot right now. Leveled everything up real good. Filled them up with water and a master blend fertilizer, which y'all seen me use a hundred times, mix at a two to one ratio, and cut me a little square hole in the top to fit this square basket, set them down in there, and just to kind of spruce it up a little bit and make it a little bit easier for me to see that squash bug when it gets in there. I put some hydrogen in there, or hydrotin as some people would pronounce it. These suckers are growing like crazy, absolutely kicking butt. Uh, the roots look pretty darn good in there. I was a little bit concerned about the whole spacing in these baskets. If I had to do it again, I'd make them a little bit, I'd go back and cut them out and make them a little bit bigger. Uh, I think that would certainly help, especially with a plant as prolific as a pumpkin that's no telling what kind of root it's going to have. But they're doing well right now. And one thing I can tell you, it is hot in there. I did order some shade cloth to go on there. But in the meantime, what you going to do? I got to shade them somehow, so we put some beach umbrellas in there. Sure enough did. So life gave me nematodes. I'm going to try to turn them into some nice looking pumpkins. I still got uh, a couple good months of growing here. Uh, we'll see what happens. And seeing these beach umbrellas, don't they kind of put you in a beachy mood? Just make you want to pull up a chair. Enjoy a little bit of life. Ice cold IPA. And tell these nematodes, 
how you like me now. So thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. And Lord willing, we'll see you next time.